All right, guys. This time we're starting another show. We did Under the Radar. We've done it. We love what that gives. But Ben is a diehard Golden Age, Silver Age guy, uh, mainly Golden Age. But he he knows his Silver Age. He's made that's where he's made his name in the specking on the Silver Age before you guys cared. Um, I'm the I'm the guy going crap. I still need to finish the series, even though why? But we're looking at some vintage heat check, checking out a few books this time. We got some guys. The market is insane. UF4 is not the only book going crazy. There are Silver Age, there's Golden Age books that are selling for higher prices. Now, this isn't a market report. This is just us going, hey, here are two books. What are they doing? Oh, let's see what they're doing. So let's jump in. Like I said, this is Vintage Heat Check. And let me choose the right stream. And here we go. So the first book is Fantastic Four, number five. I mean, Ben, what's what's so important about this book? I don't even know. I mean, what's so important anymore? We all know it's the first appearance of Doom. We all know Doom's coming. We all think Doom's coming, but we 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 know. We know. You know. Uh, we know. We know we're getting Doom. The prices know we're getting Doom. This book's out of control. This book, man. Five years ago, this was 500 in this grade, in this grade range. Um, now you're looking at 4,000 as an entry level book. You're looking at, I think it's 38,000 is what an 8.5 moved for um, in the end of February. It might have actually, it might have been just under 40. Um, that's bonkers, man. That was 15 grand five years ago. Nobody makes this kind of money in five years, let alone a year. Even if you go back a year and look at these prices, FF48, FF5, FF1, it's all, it's it's this true blue chip silver that is blowing everything else out of the water. The price on X-Men 1, the price on AF15 has always been the pinnacle. Yeah. Now you have these other books coming in, X-Men 1 from years later, coming in and making noise or from a year later i guess um but it's all because of the magic of disney it I really mean, is like the second they bought it these books started to climb everyone hopes at the end of every show or every movie there's going to be some illusion and they want to know that they bet right that they bet that it was x-men or they bet that it was fantastic four and they wanted it that to be the book and fantastic four i mean I mean, I'm thinking back to when I got into collecting two or three years ago. Like, well, I got into collecting when I started going, you know what? I'm going after books that I never thought I could have. I remember seeing an entire lot of Fantastic Four from like 30 to 70 come in pretty much. And they're all under $100. Like what are considered major key selling for three and four or $500 selling for 50 bucks in any grade. And it's just like, what the heck? Like this book has always been expensive for Fantastic Four. But this has always been the second best book in the FF run. It's always gone yeah. one, five, and then hits 40. Then you get into like four versus two, and oh, yeah. it comes in, and like, yeah, and there's just so many because in fact, guys, if you don't collect Fantastic Four Silver Age, what up through shoot, I'd say 75. I mean, if you any of those books has potential, some of them have appearances. But they all have potential, so it's all about how, what you buy it in for, of course. I like Blastar but, too. I know we're not on the subject, but I like was that, that. one. One fourteen? No, no, when, it's like sixty-eight or eighty-six or. Oh yes, okay. I was thinking I of like an idiot because I don't remember it. Overmind is what I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, but this blows my mind that it's a one point oh for four thousand dollars. Well, you know, I mean, this shows, and it's interesting because right below it, you have the two mm -hmm. for the same price. This is the old theory. When I got in, the theory was buy the nicest copy you can get, and that's it. Put all your money into the nicest copy. And I bought the any copy that came in front of me, and that was almost always low grade. And then through that, I ended up with multiple copies of certain books. The gamble was that this is what would happen. As you set prices for a 4.0, a 5.0, a 6.0, the 0.5 complete might get less, but a 1 to a 2.5 is bringing the same amount of money. 
yeah. bonkers, and it's getting proven repeatedly. And I mean, four grand for a one zero, like what the fuck? And it's not just one of them, dude. Yeah. And it, now, is this the time to buy in? I don't think these are going down, but I don't know how much. The but at the same time, we never thought the price is a one eighty one. But it, you're definitely seeing the top books are the top books, but the I love seeing this happen. I lo- like I'm sitting going, I have the shit copy of Amazing Spider-Man 4, first Sandman. It's a roached out corner missing. I paid five dollars for it last year. <laughs> that book is probably a three hundred, four hundred dollar book in the condition it's in because of what it is, the first Sandman appearance. Like those types of things are happening, but you have to be willing to take a crappy issue. And now I would eventually upgrade of it if I ever continue that path. But yeah, this is this is ridiculous, and we got one more book we want to look at, so we don't spend forever talking about. I was like, we'll make the second one quick, man. But man, we do Bronze Age too. <laughs> major keys, like we're not major gonna... keys. And Which... like to be fair, this was not a major key. There are no. so many books that five years ago were on radars. I'll give people credit, but they were not. Yeah, the announcement of this movie, and we all should have seen it coming. And I want to give a big shout out to someone who's never going to watch this, but I appreciate him. Um, Chloe's comic swag on Instagram. Check out the feed. Awesome books. Super, super good story. It's how I found out that a nine went for what does that say, Chris? Shoot, I'm looking at uh, 1400. Wild stuff. And then 18 below it, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, down at the bottom. Yeah, 18. So, I mean, it's it's just crazy. I mean, you still have a lot of description between you. That's a 9 a 7 and a 9 So, I mean, 1400 and 1800 Like, depending on the time of the auction, when it sold. I mean, think, I mean, you must, if I bought it for $1,400, I'd be, that was the best offer or whatever, just flat out. I know if I saw that list for 1400 and I saw one sold for eighteen, four hundred dollars $400 difference, heck yeah. And that's, I think, what you'll get sometimes is that buy it now above it. That was somebody who went, I bet if I price it here, I'll sell it in 30 seconds, and they needed the cash. Yeah. That'll be 2000 This did be 2000 before the movie. The question is what happens after the movie. Yeah. This because is vintage I'm- heat check. Uh, we're going to pull books that you hopefully are interested in, uh, but we're interested in just looking at prices, looking at some different things, and just throwing them out there. If you like it, great. As always, like and subscribe to my videos. Go to CBSI. We will drop a third book as well, the Vintage Heat Check. If Ben didn't know that, we're going to drop a third book on the list. Oh, um, just It's it sort of just the books that interest us, um, maybe, maybe even more Golden Age-esque for the third book, so you can just sort of see what what strikes his fancy this week when it comes to vintage. So thanks for watching.